Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, How to Cook Mexican Food. Today we're going to make a holiday beverage called ponche, or many people know it as fruit punch in English, but here in Mexico is, it is known as ponche. It has a lot of different ingredients, but you can choose whatever ones you like, okay? It has a lot of them, but I can assure you this is going to be very, very delicious. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Um, I know there are some people that like to make a simple ponche with just four ingredients, and some people that like to make it with 10 ingredients, okay? But the basic recipe, it just needs tejocote, the cane, sugar cane, or known as here is caña, guava, and the cinnamon and the sugar, okay? That's for a simple ponche, but I like to, I want to make it a little better this time. I'm going to use some more ingredients. Okay, for the tejocote, you can find it in the U.S. in the grocery Mexican stores. Sometimes Walmart sells it, the big chains. Usually the, you can get it um, fresh, frozen, or in a jar. The least one that I don't like is the, the one in a jar because it has been boiled and everything. It doesn't taste the same. So I wanna, if you want to do a, a good ponche, buy the fresh or the frozen tejocotes. This, you can add it like this, whole, or you can, um, you can soak it. Here I have it, one that's already soaked. And you can peel it. It's up to you, okay? Here in where I live, they don't peel it, nothing like that. But there are some places where they do it. So you're gonna, you're gonna peel it like you're gonna peel it like this, okay? Very easy. But I know sometimes you have one or two pounds of this, and it it just takes time. So I'm just gonna leave it up to you if you wanna peel it or not. I I'm not gonna peel it, okay? Because here in Puebla. We eat it as it is, okay? So I'm gonna leave it like that, but I'm just, you can do it however you like. For the, um, for the guavas or guayabas, uh, this is the whole ones. You can, uh, I'm just gonna cut it into small pieces. I'm gonna cut it in small pieces like this. Also, the guavas can get very expensive on Christmas time. Um, they can go over from five to ten dollars a pound. Even though you can also get them frozen, they they are the cheaper ones, okay? But remember, they're always fresh is better. So uh, we're gonna need guavas like this. I'm gonna cut all of those in pieces. We're gonna need caña, or known in English as sugar cane. Whole. I'm going to show you how we made this, all of this, because my husband already left it clean and everything, but I'm going to show you how this is done. Also, we're going to need cinnamon sticks, basic. I'm going to need two because uh, it's going to add a lot of flavor. Also, I'm going to need some, here we call this Jamaica. Um, I forgot. I'm going to uh, give you guys the names in English here on the screen. Uh, this is just optional, as I told you before, but this is going to add flavor. But if you can get the, the tejocotes and the guavas and all of that, you surely are going to be able to find the Jamaica, okay? Basic. Here I have another ingredient that I'm going to add. This is an apple, okay? Just cut it into pieces and that's it. And here I have another ingredient that is called here in Mexico, it's tamarindo. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna, uh, what I did is I just took the skin, I just broke the skin like this and left it like this, clean and everything. So we're gonna use all of these ingredients. And also we're gonna need some sugar to taste. Some people like to use something we called here as piloncillo or panela. But some people don't like the flavor, so it's just up to you whatever you want to use to sweeten this, the sugar or the panela. Okay guys, so uh, for the sugar cane, uh, here I have the whole thing. This is how you buy it in the stores. 
You can do it um, two ways. The first way is you can do it like my lovely husband is doing for me. Uh, you can peel it, okay? It's gonna be hard. You need to be very careful so that you don't cut yourself. After you have peeled the uh, cane, you can, uh, you have to cut it in, in pieces like this, okay? And if you don't wanna do this, just, uh, just wash it pretty well. Here you can see the difference between the one that, uh, that has been washed and the one that's dirty. And it, it, it's a big difference. It doesn't look dirty at all, but when you wash it, you can see the difference. So if you don't want to peel it, wash it very well, and then just cut it into four pieces and that's it, okay? I'm using 10 quarts of water. You will see that if, if it needs more or less, but I'm just giving you some ideas. First thing we're gonna add here is the cinnamon, the tejocotes, however you, you have done it, peeled or not. I didn't peel them, I just added as they were. I'm gonna add the sugar cane that's been already cut into pieces, like I told you, like this. Okay, I'm gonna also add the uh, tamarind, tamarind, I think it is called. Also gonna add the Jamaica, okay? I am also gonna add uh, some sugar, okay? I'm gonna add maybe a cup because uh, this is gonna be, if you add this now, the flavor is gonna get very intense. And if you add uh, the sugar into the end, it's not good, okay? So add the sugar right now. And uh, anyway, later, we're gonna taste it and see if it needs more or not. So one cup of sugar. I'm gonna place a lid and wait here for maybe 30 minutes until this comes to a boil. Now that this has come to a boil, we're gonna lower the heat and we're gonna leave this simmering for one hour. After one hour, and we're gonna add the apples and the guavas. And we are going to sweeten this and just taste it to see if it, if it does need more sugar and if it's gonna need it. So just leave this already sweetened and everything and leave it simmering for another 30 minutes and it's gonna be done. But uh, I'm gonna give you some of the advice. You can make this one day ahead of time and it's gonna totally change the flavor. Okay, so if you wanna get some points with uh, your boyfriend or whatever, husband, Mexican wife, or whatever you're doing this for, make it one day before and you will taste the difference, okay? So I'm going to serve this delicious beverage. Okay, so finally, I'm gonna taste it. It is very good. I hope you guys do it to see what it tastes like. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time. Happy holidays. Bye.